With just over 12 weeks until the election, Republican politicians are celebrating the opening of Donald Trump's newest Rock County office. Both political parties can agree that candidates Donald Trump and Joe Biden have two very different perspectives in how the country should be led. Congressman Brian Stile made it clear today which perspective he thinks is best. I think this is going to come down to two people in two directions for our country. And to me, it's very clear that Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi will be going in the wrong direction. Uh, and Republicans and President Trump are going to move over the country forward. Stiles says the Republican Party is focusing on topics that affect everyday lives. We want to defeat coronavirus. We want to make sure that we rebuild this economy to get everybody back to work that wants a job. And we stand with law enforcement. Wisconsin's Democratic Party also has a focus on the coronavirus. Spokesperson Philip Schulman says, quote, now even as Wisconsin continues to break case records, Trump and his henchmen continue to show zero regard for how devastating this virus is, adding, quote, the only way we can fully overcome this pandemic, return to normalcy and get our economy back on track is by electing Joe Biden, the next president of the United States. Joe Biden, um, I believe, has a has a plan and a commitment to ensure that we are fighting for issues uh, and progress where there is no comparison between him and Donald Trump. The Rock County Republican Party is asking for volunteers to contribute through door knocks and conversations. We're coming in here on the home stretch. We're coming into 12 weeks away. We're well inside of three months. We're just over 2,000 hours. And so you need to ask yourself, what are you willing to do to help move our country forward towards a more perfect union. Meanwhile, Democratic candidate Joe Biden is campaigning virtually. His team announced that Biden would not be traveling to Wisconsin to accept the nomination. In Janesville, I'm Gabriella Becerra, News 3 Now.